pick a bathtub. I don't know. <laughs> so rather than go to the swimming pool, you recommend you just fill the bathtub with some water or what? Or or just flood your house. Same thing. What? <laughs> yeah, you should do that. Well, I don't. I'm not the one craving to swim. Uh, I just close my eyes and pretend. <laughs> What's that, what has been happening with the others? Krista, Shirley, King. I think you should just bring an oxygen tank, you know, so no air contamination and just walk outside when there's rain, you know, pretend to swim. Yeah. It's perfect. Yeah, that works. Or just jump into the ocean somewhere. I'm sure there's no coronavirus. What? <laughs> oh, wait, no, sorry. COVID 19. Well, Carter. Uh, Justin, the Melody, Kelly, Yo, you, Alex, Joey, Sonia, Denise, Kinla, let's hear from you guys. How have you guys been coping? Hi. Just been staying home. Just staying at home. Bored, right? You sound so dead. What? I mean, Kinla, when we hang out, well, hey, when we hung out yesterday night, that was pretty fun. Not boring. The government says stay indoor. You're still hanging out. I'm calling 911. It's, it's we're, online. We're <laughs> hanging on the internet. You mean on the internet? How's the internet together? Is you hanging out on the internet or face to face? Uh, we internet. Face, but no. The internet is our outside. Like on webinar? With this face to face, I'm going to snitch and talk comments about you guys. <laughs> All right. What happened? I haven't heard from Ansin, Kelly, Joey. What's going on? Everything okay? Say something. Sonia and Melody. Is Melody here? I just said Sonia. Oh, Melody is here. What's going on? Hi. Hi. How is Singapore? I hear a lot of stuff about Singapore and the coronavirus thing. I hope you guys are safe. Macau is kind of safer than most of these countries. Uh, that's what I think anyway. Most of the yeah, but that's, that's because Macau has done its, uh, its uh, containing very, very well. I was because being Hong smart. Kong, Hong Kong, there was yeah. like 14 ports, mm. and then they only closed 12, and then they still have two ports open. But Macau, un unless you have your own car, you mm. can't, <clears throat> you can't go and you can't leave Macau or or come in. Mm. See, and that's really helpful because uh, I think about the last time they had any new case should be like over a week. And, yeah. Um, yeah. Um, Even if you have a car, you can't pass. Yeah, so this is really Easy amazing. Kind of. Kelly and saying what's going on? Are you guys in Macau or mainland? Is Kelly here? Well, Kelly's in mainland. How about Anson? Anson should be in Macau, mm. I think. Can they say something? Miss I Love Fish and Miss Matt Anson. I am the, the middle so I'm here. Oh, come on, you guys say something. Why are you just quiet? Hiding behind your keyboard, ready for, to solve my math problem. Huh? Mr. Justin, I didn't hear from you today. Everything all right? Rita, also, I didn't hear you say something. Yep, I'm fine. Okay, you guys are good? All right. It's kind of boring, I know. You know, just staying in the and doing online work, but at least we have, you know, an opportunity to do something. So, um, last time we talked about trig of special angles, and we have seen numerous applications. I've seen some of the work you have also submitted, so quite good. Um, hopefully by the end of this weekend, every outstanding work will be uh, graded and report sent to you. Okay, privately. So bear with me if I have not graded any of the online work and you know, but I haven't gotten back to you. I hope some of us have seen some 
our feedback from some work that I've graded. Yes. Have you checked to get the feedback? And you can access your grade book on Edmodo as well. If anyone has any problem checking that, please do let me know. Anyway, having said that, uh, for the next topic we'll be doing, something about quadratic that I mentioned <coughs> in the previous day that we had introduction about this webinar thing. So something I noticed before we had the IGCSE exam is that when you when you have a quadratic expression that uh, whose a is not one, some of us have issue using the so-called scissors method. So I thought we'll review that briefly, so that when I come next week, um, you will not have any issue trying to solve and reverse. So this is what I mean. Um, so come with me to the board. Valentine's Day. So uh, I want us to quickly review quadratic factorization. So I'm going to compose three a particular method. Uh, this topic was taught by Mr. Miracle last year, if you guys remember. So, and um, I don't know, some of he, he focused on the scissors method, and I noticed that created some problems for some of us. So, we will look at that again briefly. So, for quadratic authorization, uh, my review will be how I would have taught it last year. So. It's not going to be a normal way of teaching, but you know, I, I usually classify it into three categories. The first one is difference of two squares, which I think everybody knows now. So the difference of two squared, we know that x squared minus y squared is what? Can I get some response to that in the chat room or you speak to the camera, to the mic. Preferably, you speak to the mic. Thank you, Justin. X plus Y, X minus Y. Thank you. Okay. So this is X plus Y, X minus Y. And you can have a whole lot of applications from there. As long as you can write as two squares. This is one square, this is one square, this is minus, and that is the meaning what's different is about. So if, for instance, we have x squared minus nine, we write it first as difference of two squares. You hey guys, all these things are very important to make your next year math easier. If, if you miss, some of these basic ideas you will struggle in form five. So there's a reason I'm revisiting it because I know how important it is for my current form five. Even in the you know, so-called difficult topics, we use some of this simple stuff and anybody who doesn't know will be in big problem. So this is x plus three, x minus three. I believe everybody understands this. <laughs> Sometimes you might have 4a squared minus 9b squared. Can you tell me what that will be? Uh, bracket 2a, two. Two uh, bracket 2a plus 3b, uh, and then bracket uh, 2a minus 3b. 
Parking lot. Oh, uh, yeah. Thank you. So the first thing I would recommend is put it as a difference of two squares, then your 2a plus 3b will follow. Okay. So 2a plus 3b, 2a minus 3b. Okay. So can I ask you to try everybody this? that Well done, can you let me know? Just type, uh, just notify me on. Uh, uh, Mr. Daniel, do, do we simplify as much as we can? Yes, you must always do that. Good question, okay. thank you. I'm done. Yeah. For up to five? Yes. If you have completed three, can you indicate in the chat room? Question three, indicate in the chat room, please. Is anyone struggling with it? Because I have less than the number that I'm supposed to have. I'm expecting 18 people and only few are responding. Please don't be quiet in the class. <clears throat> Remember your participation is part of your effort grade. So if you are one of those quiet person, I don't know how you want to improve on your effort. All right, so good. So just check what I'm going to, sorry, I forgot how to do some. I'm talking about question three, Giselle. <clears throat> Are you still on three? Giselle? Yeah, so I'm talking about three. So I'll work on your four while I'm 
just checking this. So again, I put it as difference of two squares first. So now this is my first part, this is my second part. So by part, I mean this, this is my first part, this is my second part. So the first part plus the second part, the first part minus the second part. So this will be first part x plus y plus the second part 2y. Then again, first part x plus y minus the second part 2y. So then you simplify as much as possible. So that is x plus 3y. This is x minus y. Okay. So similarly, question four. If you haven't done it this way, now question four and five, you need to be careful with brackets. So I just hope everyone is careful with brackets. Can I do question four? Question four, yes or no? If you are still working on it, then you should say something. Otherwise, I'll just move, carry on with it. So if nobody responds, it means I can go ahead. Thank you. All right, so, so this will be 3a, all squared. And this is already in form of square. So you must always do this. So when I give you maybe a test, when we come back, I'm not interested in your answer. I'm not interested in just this. I'm interested in this as well. So this is 3a. Now look at what I'm going to do here. I have 3a plus the second part. I put it in the brackets because the second part is a binomial. I didn't, I didn't want to do that in the first one. Now, it's, it's immaterial. It doesn't really, make, it's not really important, this bracket here. But it's really important in the second one. So, but when you are used to putting the bracket, whether it is important or not, you are safe. That's the whole idea. Okay? So, this is 3a. Of course, when you open the bracket with plus, nothing changes. But when you open the bracket with minus, everything changes. Am I making sense? And luckily, the terms have already been arranged. All right. Yes, sir. Uh, will we be penalized if we don't put the little brackets at the other one? On this the one, one with the minus? No. No, for this one, yes, yeah, you will miss yeah. it. That's the point. If you don't put the brackets, this will not be plus. Uh, but will we be penalized if we don't put the brackets? Can we get everything correct? It should be like this. If you don't put the brackets, you probably have it as 3a minus a minus 2b, which uh, is, that's wrong. Okay, so it's just it's the for precaution? Minus the second one. The second one is these two together. So the bracket uh -huh. binds them together. Yeah, okay. Okay, so okay. good question. So this will be 4a minus 2b, and this is 2a plus 2b. But this is not the simplest form of the factorization. 2, 2a minus b, 2a plus b. So I can write one more step now. Uh, someone remember this question 5, please. Because I'm going to have to write it again. So final step will be for 2a minus b, a plus b. Who got that? Good. So question five, can somebody tell me what it is again? a plus 2b, yes? It's 2a plus b squared minus a plus 2b. All right, 2a plus b squared minus a plus 2b squared. Okay, so that's also, we we'll do the same way. So I would recommend, let's, if, if, it's, if you are dealing with binomial, whether on the plus side or the negative side, start with the brackets. If you are used to putting the brackets, 
then you are rest assured you won't miss it when it is even important. So this is the first plus the second. That's in the first bracket. So what we have done here, if this is m squared, maybe I write it here, m squared minus m squared, m plus n, this is the addition part, m minus n subtraction part. So your m is this, your n is that. Does this make sense? Yes. All right. Uh, can you see me? Can you still see me? Yes, we can still see you. Okay. But we're looking at the board right now. All right. I just wanted to be sure. Okay, so, so this will be 2a plus b minus a plus 2b. Okay. So take this away. So now we simplify by removing the bigger bracket, 2a plus b, a plus 2b, and also here, 2a plus b minus a minus 2b. So if you collect the like terms and hard, you get 3a plus 3b. This is uh, a minus b, yes? The 3 can be factorized from here. Who got that? Job. I didn't do the last step. Okay, so now you know. Uh, because, like you asked, uh, I didn't write that as an instruction. Whenever you factorize, it's always good to factorize as far as possible. Okay? Is there anyone who missed the last question? I'm getting response from less than 10 people out of about 20. I need to start calling names of those that do not respond. I got it. All right, good. So this is one way to look at difference of two squares. Okay, these are ways you can manipulate difference of two squares. Yeah, so please respond promptly, like I said earlier. Now, let's see. This category two. Now, this is the first case difference of two squared. So, the second classification that I put for factorization as in IGCSC syllabus is so the second case two. Uh -oh. So I just that as binomials of higher degrees something like that. Now, what are the kind of question that I put under this? So let's start with simple cases. X squared Y minus X Y squared. What is the common factor? X Y. X Y. Right. So then in the brackets, we're gonna have X minus Y, isn't it? Yes. Similarly, we can have X cubed, maybe I'll change it now. So a a cube b minus a b cube. What do we have as common factor? Still a b. A b. Okay, we have a squared minus b squared. And we stop there, right? No, you no, do the rest of it. Right, so that's a b a plus b a minus b. Okay. By the way, uh, later I will ask you to factorize x to the power 16 minus y to the power 16. Okay? Just play with it. 
like your piano melody. All right, so now this is not the reason we do this. This is the reason we do it. So we have a plus b to the power four plus a plus b to the power three. Idea. A plus B cube. A plus B cube is a factor. Then you open a bracket, isn't it? Yes. From the first one, what do we have left? A, a plus B. 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 And second one, one. That's it. Okay. So because there's no need for internal brackets, I could use the normal bracket. But if this was minus, and I have maybe m minus two to power three, and maybe m minus two to power four, then of course, you know, we have m minus two to power three, then you have to use a bigger bracket. The reason is this will be one minus, then you need another bracket inside. Does this make sense, everyone? Yes. So yes. having m minus two cube, and this would be one minus m plus two. Yeah. So finally, this will be m minus two cube, and what three minus m? Can we see that? <laughs> Yes. So these are really important, particularly uh, when you start doing calculus differentiation. You, we, you are going to come across a lot of functions with higher degree, so you need to learn to factorize. So I ask you to try this. long what's going on can you check your keyboard maybe you're sending something wrongly to the group Everybody wants one. I finished already up to seven. Oh, dude, what's going on? I mean, 
algebra is my uh, is my bread and butter. What? Algebra? Oh, okay. Are you sure you are, you're not having some superpower because of this coronavirus thing? No, I'm pretty sure not because any other subject, I'm still very bad. Because I don't trust you these days <laughs> with superpowers. You know, you started using Iron Man wristwatch since Form 1 that I joined SON. So I can't trust you. You might just be the next Iron Man from Hong Kong. <laughs> you still have it? Are you serious? <laughs> of course I still have it. It still works. Since Form 1. Dude, that's like over three years ago. I mean, I'm very good at keeping things. That's really good. That's really good. All right, Kelly finished, Anson finished. Denise, Giselle, Charlene, Melody, Anika, Sonia. What am I missing? Rita. Okay, I'll go to the attendance. Alex. Okay, that was saying. I finished, Mr. Daniel. All right, no problems. Okay, so we're gonna look at it together now. Uh, is there anyone I need to wait for? Can you wait one minute, please? Yes, sir. Thank you. How is Kellen, by the way? Fine. Maybe after the class, tell him to come to the camp so I can see his face and say hello. Sure. Oh, can you hear me? No, I have headphones. Okay. Are we there yet? Okay, done. Okay. All right, so Justin is done. So what is the common factor here? X minus Y. All right. So just one power, right? So because my higher power is on the left, I don't need extra brackets. So I have X minus Y, then minus seven. Isn't it? It's as simple as that. So for this, my higher power is on the right. So I'm going to need the extra bracket. So P plus two. So I'm going to have two power six. Am I right? Yes. I'm going to have four minus P plus two. So I can open the brackets now. I have P plus two, two power six. I have four minus P minus two. Then I have P plus two to power six. Then I have two minus P. You all get that? Yes. 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 One. So, oh, this looks different. What do I do? You take the three with the m and n to the power of four. Three, m plus n to the power of four. So I'm, I'm definitely going to make the bigger bracket. So from 12, I took three, and I have four. Yes? Yes. And from m plus n, I took all the four. I have nothing more, right? Yes. That yes. means I have one left but we don't have to show it, just like the one here. Okay, can you see my cursor? 
Yeah. Just like this one. Yeah. Okay. But we don't have to show that because four is there. Four times one is four. So on the second group, I have three left and I still have one power of n plus n. So this becomes three n plus n to power four. Then we open the brackets. 4 minus 3m minus 3n. Obviously, there's nothing else we can do. Okay. Any questions? No. All right. No. The third category is the. Oh, I'm kind of drawing it back. Why is my line not straight on this app? Anyway, you guys don't mind. So it's the trinomial. Okay. Of degree two. What does trinomial mean? You guys remember? What does trinomial stand for? It should have three terms. Three terms. And what does degree two mean? Squared. 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 So basically, we're talking about something of this form. Ax squared plus bx plus c, where a, b, c are non-zero. So this is the third category of factorization you might come across, OK? Now, if you are talking about, oh, how about 2x plus x? We already talked about that here. It's in this category. Because it's binomial. Does that make sense? Or if you have maybe 9x squared minus 16, this is when a is 9, b is 0, and c is negative 16. That is in the first category, difference of 2 squared. Okay, so the third category is when none of this is 0. Am I making sense? So now <clears throat> it's easy when you have a is equal to one. It's easy to do that. So let's just play around with some examples. When a is equal to one. When a is equal to one, uh, we have something like this x squared minus five x plus six. Right? Melody. Can Melody hear me? All right. Can you tell me what the uh, factorizing, what the factors will be in this one? Um, that would be three and two. Minus three and minus two. Minus three and minus two. So we can have x minus three, x minus two. That's easy, right? So if you have x squared minus x minus 90. Anika. Is Anika there? Yeah. So, help me out here. I'm blessed. I need your help. Help the friend. Help me finish my common assignment. Uh, is that N or X? Is that what? X or N. It doesn't matter. If you see that's N, just tell me the answer in N. If you see that's X, tell me the answer in X. Between. Giselle, can you help? Uh, X plus nine bracket X minus 10. Is that Giselle or Anika? Oh, Anika. Okay. So X plus nine, X minus 10. I'll tell you why this is easier. Whenever everybody listen, Whenever you have one in the middle term, 
your factors must be consecutive numbers. You know what I mean by consecutive numbers? One and two, three and four. So the difference. So you have to think of consecutive numbers whose product is ninety, and that's nine and ten. Does that make sense? Then if you have a negative, it means the bigger one is the minus. So that will make it easier for you. Okay, thank you, Amiga. Okay, now everybody with what I've just said, what about x squared plus x minus 20? What's that? Four or five. Well, five, so I'd rewrite it in the bracket. X plus five, X minus four. Good. It means the bigger one is positive. So you must deal with consecutive numbers. Okay. So if you have this, you can always just quickly uh, do what we just did. So can I ask you to do four and five please? Are you done? Okay, finish, Kelly. Okay. Okay. Is question six possible? Mm hmm. But, okay. Mm -hmm. It's possible. I'm done. Mr. Dine, I'm dying. <laughs> okay, good. I'm seeing all your comments. Okay. So for this, the factors are <clears throat> what and what from before. Ten and eleven. So, which one is positive? Which one is negative? Ten is positive. Uh, 10 eleven is negative. Negative. So you can say like that, and you could put eleven first. It doesn't matter. Here, what are the factors? Three and three. Three and three. Yep. Both positive. Both positive. Which you can write as this. It's compulsory, but it's, okay, it's allowed. Six, what are the factors? Three and two, negative three and positive two. Are you sure? One and negative six. One, I think one. Oh. <laughs> one and Oops. negative six. Now, you see, there are four questions that I usually test to confuse my students. This is the fourth one. This is one, and these are the other three. They kind of look alike, but they are different problems, so as a result, they should produce different results. The idea of this factorization is to look for, so when you have x squared plus maybe bx plus c, what you are trying to do is to find factors 
of C whose sum is plus B. Okay, whose sum is B. If B is negative, then whose sum is uh, negative B. So I just say B. So B could be positive or negative. So here, you are looking for the factors of negative 6. Or should I say whose sum is this? And the product must be plus C. That's the meaning of what you mean by the factor. Okay? So, the, the, so you first of all find the factors of 6. There are two options. 1 times 6 or 2 times 3. And everybody see what I'm doing? Okay? Yes. All right. So now I'm looking for minus 5. So is it that I have plus 1 and minus 6 or I have minus 2 and minus 3? I can have two, the two cases, isn't it? But the product must be plus C. The product must be the last term. But the product will be negative 6. Product of this is negative 6. Product of this is plus 5. Plus 6, sorry. Does that make sense? So even yes. though you had a yes. negative yes. 6. So the, for this one, it is simply x plus 1, x minus 6. And because you have the same minus 6, but this time around, you are looking for the sum of plus 5. So minus 6, sum of plus 5. If I need sum of plus 5, again, I have 1 and 6. I have 2 and 3. Sum of plus 5 could be plus plus, or it could be minus plus, right? right? But the product must be minus 6. Which of these two, this or this, gives me minus 6 back? Negative one. negative 1 and plus 6. So this would be negative 1. So x minus 1 and x plus 6. And similarly here, you for the factors of 6 again, 1 and 6, 2 and 3. I need plus 5, then I do minus plus or plus plus. But the product must be this plus 6. Which of these gives me product of plus 6? Plus 2 and plus 3. So that is why this will be x plus 2 and x plus 3. So you could see that these four produce four different results because there are four different equations. So if you can remember this fact, then you are good. This type of problem with coefficients of 1 here is a monic, it's said to be monic. It's a monic expression. A monic function. Okay, monic means the lead, the coefficient of the leading term is one. Okay, that's meaning. Okay, monic means the coefficient of the leading term is one. So that is k equals one. <clears throat> that's the meaning of monic. Any questions? So if you have a monic quadratic expression, it's easier to factorize. And when they are confusing, you need to make sure you double check. The sum is the middle, the product is the last term. Now, let me say this. If you have minus x squared, maybe minus 5x minus 6, you are not considering the product of minus 6. You are considering the product of these two. Anyway, we get there in the next slide. What if we have non-monic? So if you have so remember I said here when a is one. So when a is not equal to 1. When a is not equal to 1. We don't care if a is positive or negative. Okay? So when a is not equal to 1, I'd like you to follow these steps. Multiply. First. And third. Times. Second step, 
things. If I press on the product. And the factors of this product. What product am I talking about in step one? Okay, replace. Okay, so find the factors of the product whose sum is middle term. Or should I say second term? Whose sum is second term? Second term coefficients. Once you find that, replace the factors that you have just found with second term. You're going to factorize twice, and that's it. Now, we're going to do this together now. This. I have three x squared plus five x plus three, for example. So I go by my first step. I multiply the first and the third terms. I have plus six x squared. Are you following everybody? Yes. 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 So yes. this is the step, and this is the method I need from you, either from any homework or from any test that we do. With this, any form of confusion you might have using the scissors method is taken care of. However, when it is time for your IGCSE, you use for those that are taking it. You use any method of your choice. You don't have to do this. When you are in your IB classes from next year and you need to factorize, you use any method of your choice. By then, you should have known a safer method. This is just for you to learn this. So I'm going to compose through this method now and any form of assessment we do when we resume school because I need everybody to master this technique. So that is step one. We have just found the product of the first and the third terms. So we need to find the factors of this plus six. That gives five. Now there are two options. Factors of six that gives five. One and six can give me five. Two and three can also give five. Does that make sense? Usually I compose through a table, but you don't have to draw a table. You know, what do I mean by compulsory a table? I'll show you the table, but the table is not necessary. I believe you guys are smarter than that. So I draw a table like this. I use that for beginners. So you guys are no longer beginners. You are in your quarter to form five. So the, the factors, I need one and six. So I'm going to write it in four ways because I can have both of them being positive. I can have both of them being negative. You can switch plus one minus six or minus one plus six. So any factor that I pick, I can write in four. Another factor that will give me five is two and three. So I have plus two plus three minus two minus three. I can have plus two minus three. I can have minus two plus three. Okay, so this is for the sum, this is for the product. The sum of this is plus seven, negative seven, negative five, plus five. This is plus five, minus five, minus one, plus one. For the product, I guess six, six, minus six, minus six. I mean product of these two. Does that make sense, everybody? Yes. Yes. All right. So yes. it gives me, I guess, six, six, minus six, minus six. So for the next four questions, this table is sufficient. So in the table, all I need to find is sum plus five products plus six. 
sum plus five, but the product is negative six, so not this one. Sum plus five, product plus six, so this is the guy I'm looking for. Now that I found who I'm looking for, I need to pick the factors because the first column in the table is the factors. Does that make sense, guys? So I put that in the same column. So I need plus two and plus three. Now, the, the, now this is finding the factors, okay? The next step is to replace the factors in two with the second term. So because I have plus two and plus three, I'm going to replace this five X with that. So it's going to be two X squared plus two X plus three X. So this is my five X, this is my five X. Okay, if you go through this technique, even without drawing the table, all you could do is just say one, six, two, three. Sum of plus five. Oh, this will have to be minus and plus. This will have to be plus and plus. Then you check product of plus six. Product of this is negative, so not this one. Product of this is positive, then it is this. So you don't have to draw the table. Am I clear, everybody? Yes. yes. Yep. So once you get the factors, you replace. Once you replace the last two steps, is factorize twice. So we're going to factorize twice. The first, so when you factor, what do I mean by factorize twice? You pick the first two, you pick the last two. So the first two, two X is common. I get X plus one, yes? And the next one, three is common, but before three, you need a sign. It is usually the sign that you have here that you take, whether it is plus or minus, even if it is not common to the other one. But the rest are sure it will work. So I have plus three. So if I factorize plus three out, I get X. If I factorize plus three out, I get plus one. So that is the first factorization. Now these make it look like this question. It made it look like this. Can you see when you have two groups? Talk to me. Can you see that? Yes. So you apply that technique again. Now X plus one is a common factor to the two groups. And from the first group, you have two X. From the second group, you have plus three. And this is the end of your factorization. With this, you are rest assured that you are not using the wrong factors with this technique. Okay? So I go to the next slide and pick another uh, question. Mr. Daniel. Yes, sir. For when you wrote down the, the steps, I think you messed up on the third step because it says replace the factors with the second term when when you did uh when you did it you put the fact you put the factors into the second term and not the other way around no, i didn't put it in the second term i replaced the you replaced the the second term with the factors. the second term with the factors yes yes that's what i meant okay replace the second term yeah. with the that's all right kind of messed me up right Everybody got what they said? Are people here or asleep? Yes. yes. Again, yes. Them. All right. Let's say something, please. So, so let's take another one. We have 3x squared minus x minus, Charlie, I do minus 2x. So we have that. So again, the first step is multiply the first and the third terms. So we multiply, we get negative three X squared. So now we need the factors of the product, which is three, that gives two. Well, three is a prime number, so you, are only, you only have one and three. How can we get negative two plus minus, correct? Then multiply back to check. When you multiply back, you get your negative three. So we are good, this is the factor. So now I'm going to replace the second term with this. Okay, I replace the second term with that. So instead of negative two X, I have plus one and minus three X. So I replace that three X squared plus one X minus three X minus one. Okay, then you factorize twice. From here, X, three X plus one. And from here, I told you any sign here, even if it is here or not minus there's no common number so that is one 
if you, factor, if you factorize minus one from here, factorization means divide. If you have your a b squared plus a squared b, and you claim that a b is a common factor, how do you get your b plus a? What you have done is you divide this a b squared divided by a b, then you cancel, you are left with b. Then you also do a squared b divided by a b. You are always dividing by that factor. All right, and what is left is what you have in the bracket. So if you divide this by this, you have your 3x. If you divide this by this, you have your plus 1. If you want to check, expand the bracket from here. Times, times, you get this back. Questions, please. Uh, does it matter in the second step which set you factorize? You mean this one, which comes first? Yeah, if you switch, yeah. It doesn't matter. I was going to do that as an alternative. But nice that you are. Show that someone is thinking ahead. I like that. So it doesn't matter. And we're going to see that in my second case now. So we're going to factorize again 3x plus 1. And you have x minus 1. Based on what Justin said, if you replace your factors and you decide to do 3x squared minus 3x plus x minus one. That's what it's saying. Doesn't matter which one comes first. So here, three x is common, x minus one. The plus sign, even if it is not common to them, since there is no number, it is one, then x minus one. So now your common factor is x minus one, and you have three x plus one. You can see that this and this are the same. Any questions? No. No. All right, so can I ask you to go through this step to do the following? If you need me to go back to the previous slide, let me know. So. Start with that. Uh, Mr. Daniel, Mr. Daniel, mm -hmm. I, I know you. I know you explained a lot, but I still don't understand how to use this method. Okay, so please go through this step one after the other, because to me that's an attempt to use any other method that you wish, and that's not going to work. I need this method used by everybody. Okay. If you need me to leave this on the screen, I'm happy to do that. But everybody must use this method. Okay. You need me to explain again, let me know, or you just go through the steps and the example. Do you need the steps on the screen or just move to the last example? Can you please move to the last example? All right.
Are you ready? No. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. 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 Okay. <laughs> <laughs> You guys know just what just happened? You guys What's just... the TV? Yeah, the TV. I, th I believe it's someone's TV and they're panicking and it's kind of I funny. I wish it was Giselle. That's yeah. you know. No, I think it was About Anson. That. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. I, I wouldn't make that noise. Somebody else joined with their TV and then left. Yes, somebody joined and this is not time for our class. It's my form five. <laughs> I don't know why everybody is missing their time. Mr. Iron Man joined my P6 class. I don't know what he was doing. In I, my was, I, was, I was testing if my internet works. <laughs> and I was having a class, and all my classes are in the same link. So I let him in, and I kicked him out. <laughs> I left before you could kick me out. I believe Carl is just very excited for math class. Yes, thank you. I was very excited. Was you wanted an excited. extra class. Well, Even if it was lower grade, he just wanted a class. So one of my form five also joined us now. So I let her in. Then she's realized, oh my God, that's why she was panicking and ran away. <laughs> I'm going to make fun of her in the next lesson. Okay, so my next question would be 3D squared minus plus 7D minus 6. 3D squared plus 7D minus 6. If anybody has problem with any of these questions, please speak. Can you go over four really quickly? All right, man. So again, we multiply the first and the third terms to get plus 4x squared. The factors of 4, I could either have 1 and 4, or I could have 2 and 2, right? So if I need plus 4, oh, there's no way this can give me plus 4, whether I put plus or minus anywhere. So this is not even happening. But this will give me plus 4 with plus 2, plus 2. And that's what you need. So 4x squared plus 2x, plus 2x, plus 1. Is it OK now? I proceed. Yeah. Is it OK now? I proceed. I gave you two options. Giselle, I'm asking a question. Wait, what do you mean? What do you mean? Oh, 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 it's done. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it's OK. Yeah, what? Huh? What? <laughs> I'm so confused. What was your question? I asked two things. So you have to pick one. Is it okay? Yep. Proceed. You say yeah. Yeah, what? Yeah, is okay. Yeah. Uh, oh, I said, I said, I said, I understand now. You can proceed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm making fun of Nakita online. <laughs> Maybe she thought the class was already active because it's the same link. And I have them by two o'clock. That's why she clicked on the link. So I have to keep you guys out by 1.45 latest. Anyway, this is the last part of the factorization. I just need us to familiarize with the idea, okay? So there's not much to do, really. So let's know if you have any. I hope nobody has question with three. The guy with the nice wristwatch from Form 1. Are you okay with these methods now? Have you gone through the example? Yes, but I still don't understand it. But you did question 3. Yes, I did question 3 and 4. I did that. And you still don't understand it. So how did you do it? I, it was like throwing a, uh, throwing a dart blindfolded. And I somehow got it in the bullseye. 
anyway, I don't know what you mean by understand it, but if you just follow what we did, so the first step again, multiply the first and the third terms, then look at the factors, you pick the appropriate one. In this case, there's only one option. Here, there's only one option. Sometimes you have two options, like the previous example, okay? But here, you only have one option, so you only deal with the only option you have. After that, you replace that second, you write the second term, that format, that's what we did here. Then you factorize twice. It's not something difficult. I get it now. All right. Who is done with five? I'm done with five. I'm done with five. Oh, okay. Sorry, that's you guys are still busy doing five. So I'm gonna start this up by mixing two variables. So my next question, You guys won't believe the book that I'm opening right now. It's my Nigerian textbook that I use in high school. Do you still have it? Well, somebody has scanned the old textbook. I mean, I don't even have a textbook for Form 1. No, not my textbook, like the textbook that I used growing up. Oh. In Nigerian maths, I'll show you now. Anyway, nine, uh, five. What if you have. 5a squared. Um, sorry, I'm trying to tweak the question. Minus 9ab. Minus 2b squared. Can you try that? I wish I could still find my high school books anyway. I just create a museum in my house. Can you also go over five really quickly? Five, okay. So what are the factors? Uh, so when you multiply, what do you get? Uh, negative 18 d square. Good, so now we're looking for possible multiplication that gives 18. I can have one and 18, I can have two and nine, and I can have three and six. Which of these can produce seven? Nine, two. So you cross this out, we don't need them. So they're useless to us. So how do you get plus seven? So this will have to be plus and this will have to be minus. So then we write it in four terms now. Do you understand? Yep. You know, guys, this is something I do to make the next step easier for me. This step, uh, the question I just analyzed with Giselle, if I'm to write these factors, because I'm writing three first, I bring nine next. Can you see? Can you see why? Then minus two follows. Can anybody, do you guys understand why I did this? Yes. Yes, nine is yes because it's visible. It's guaranteed that I can factorize here also. So I can flip it, okay? Done, Justin says done, mm, good. 
Uh, can you tell us what you got, Justin? For which one? Six. Uh, 5a minus b, a plus 2b. Mm. Same thing. Yeah, good. So basically, if you use the same approach, you're going to end up getting negative 10 a squared b squared. So factors of 10, 1 and 10, 2, 5. We need 9, so only this works. This does not work. So plus 1 minus 10. So that's it. So you have 5a squared. So plus 1ab, right? So plus ab, then minus 10ab, then minus 2b squared. And you factorize. It's as simple as that. OK, so maybe we do it together. So you tell me if anything is wrong. A is the only possibility here, 5a plus b. Then I take the minus from here. I can pick 2 and b. Then if I divide these two, negative cancel. 10 divided by 2 is 5. Then a, negative, negative is positive. I mean this negative divided by this. 2 divided by 2, b squared divided by b. You must get the same. After you factorize and you do not have the same, then something is wrong. Don't try to cheat and make sure it is the same. No. You factorize, then you look at it, and it must be the same. If you write this and you just write something here and you put the same, you copy the same bracket, that's cheating. And sometimes something is wrong. So you must be able to check and make sure it is the same. Okay? So 5a plus b is common factor, then a minus 2 is the other one. So that's what you must get. Minus 2b. My bad. Did we get that? Rita, Joey, how are you? Did you get that? Anika, good. All right, good. So these things are not difficult. So this is the steps that I need you to, the method I need you to use for now when we are working on some of this kind of work. Okay. For now, this is what I need you to use. Uh, I'll post some of these questions. Now, this is the textbook that I was talking about. I'll come back to this page 116. So this is the textbook I used growing up. You can see. Can you see the name? Can you guys see this? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. This senior secondary. In Looks Nigeria. very colorful. Isn't senior like form five? No. Okay. So in Nigerian system, we have uh, junior high school three years, senior high school three years. Junior high school is like oh, okay. form three. Then senior high school is like form four, form five, form six. So this is like form four textbook. Mm -hmm. Like form four textbook. This is actually, I think. Mr. Daniel, I want to know what's the formula at the background of the front page. It looks like S square. Okay, that's like standard deviation and variance. The statistics. The statistics. Have you that sounds okay. fancy. Okay. Yeah. The statistics. Anyway, so. Uh, it's, it's so much more colorful than our textbook. Uh, you might think so. I don't think so. It's actually your textbook is more colorful in the sense that. Most of the pages inside are black and white, so but you have like colors inside. But the content is like huge. Anyway, so this is where I pick the questions from. So I'm going to pick more questions from here and I will ask you to do. But can we try this before we go? Question 50, uh, 54. Can you see 54? Yeah. Uh, yes. All right, can everybody try 54? 35 minus 2b. No, 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 no. No, that is a monic equation. So try 56 instead. 35 plus 30 minus, uh, that's the same thing. Uh, yeah. What do we do now? Uh, get a random number generator and then just yeah. one to five and then just choose one. I'm trying to find the one with the. First term being at the end, yes, got it. Got it, got it, got it, got it. 67. 
That's the guy I'm looking for. Sister Seven. Yes. Everybody try Sister Seven. Then we do the correction together. And that will be the last thing for today. If you are done, say something. If you are thinking of rearranging, you don't have to. But you can rearrange to see what that looks like. I finished. Good job. Let's give others some one or two minutes. Done. Yes, Justin, I'm listening. Uh, I said I'm finished. Finished, okay. Okay. I'm waiting for more people. I'm finished too. Good. All right, Denise, got it. Kelly. Uh, I finished. Okay, Yanko. Let's give others one more minute. So Sonia, wait. Anika is wait. Anika be like, wait. Are you playing badminton, Anika, or doing the quadratic stuff? I mean, why can't she doing be doing both at the same time? I know. Yeah, I'm just imagining her holding a pen on one hand, the other is like a racket. Anika, good question. Why can't she do both at the same time? Because both require my left hand. I mean, sorry, right hand. <laughs> well, you could you could play with your left hand, right? All pros know how to play their sport with both hands. I don't know. About oh, that. Carter. Anika, can you? Okay, so kind of. Okay, she said kind of. All right, so let's try to do it. Um, I don't want to move to another slide, so we don't have too many things to see. So I'm just going to put it here. So can someone give me the question? So that'll be question seven. Five minus seven a minus six a squared. That's miss. I love fish. So this would be minus 30 a squared. You see, I do not, I didn't rearrange. Factors of 30, I can have one and 30. It's not useful because I need seven. And I have two and 15. It's not useful either. Okay. And I have three and 10. Yes, very useful. But be sure that that's the only thing. Uh, I can have five and six, not useful. So this is the only one. Because there are some situations where you have two options. Look at the case of six. You can have one and six, you can have two and three. And both can give you five, right? So if you do one six and you say, oh yeah, this is useful. It might not, the combination of the plus or minus might not give you what you want. So you need to exhaust all the options first. Am I making sense, everybody? Yes. Yes. Okay. Negative seven, then we have to have plus plus three minus ten. Right? We have to have that. So I'm gonna put the minus ten first because of the presence of five. So I have five minus ten a plus three a minus six a squared. So five <clears throat> one minus two a then plus three a. 1 minus 2a. And finally, 1 minus 2a 
from the first group, five, from the second group, plus three A. Who got that? Yes, I got it. So there's no need to arrange if it is not rearranged. A little bit of that. Remember, this part is uh, 3a plus 5, right? But this part is not 2a minus 1. Okay? This can be flipped, but this cannot be flipped because of the negative. Any questions? No. All right. So we're going to stop here. So when we come next time, we want to revert, we want to uh, we'll solve some quadratic and reverse it. Okay, the major thing we are trying to do is how to reverse it. So if I give you the, uh, the, the solutions of an equation, how do you get the equation back? That's what you want to play around with. So we'll do that when we come back next week. If there are no questions, uh, I'll see you next week. Have a great weekend. And Justin, please, uh, can you tell Kellen to uh, come around so I can see his face and say hello? Right are you putting, uh, if, if it's not busy, are you putting more questions on the model? Uh, no, I just give you free weekend. Yay, thank, thank you. you, Mr. Drew. Thank you, Mr. Daniel. Thank you. Have fun. Thank you. It's we can go now, right? He does not go now, want right? to say hello. Oh, come on. Come on. Why? <laughs> I don't know. Is there any homework? Even if I put any question, it won't be any graded. Alright? Yes. Yes. Yeah, it's, it's the, it's I the definitely mass, mass outro music. Yeah. Pick up. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Cole, show, show camera. Yeah, show camera. Come on. Yeah, let's see you play that, bro. <laughs> oh, yeah, Cole, I love your hair, bro. <laughs> it, it's grown. Let's Come on, Elsa, show camera. Visible one, too. Giselle, where's your camera? Show later. Where's Kelly's camera? Kelly never put on a camera. What's going on? Well, phone's camera quality isn't exactly the best. Or her laptop doesn't have a camera. Either that or something else. I'm going to use my phone's microphone and my, and my computer's camera. And Joey never put on a camera, too. Except Jasmine's camera. That's the one she uses. She spies on us when we do our math class. <laughs> Yay, there she is. <laughs> Anson. Okay. Get to see your faces. All right, see you guys next time. Have fun. Bye. 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 Thank Bye. you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.